Hello everyone, it is I, Mitch. Today, we are featuring a very special list, especially for gamers who want to learn to code. We will take a look at some of the best games which teach you to code with enjoyable experiences. While games alone probably isn't going to teach you everything, but it can be an incredible way to practice the skills. In no particular order, let's start with our first game. First up, RoboCode. RoboCode is a complex programming game that lets you code robot tanks and pit them against each other. Your role is to write the artificial intelligence that drives your robots to success, using real languages like Java, Scala, c -sharp, and more. The RoboCode installer comes with a development environment built in Robot Editor and Java Compiler. Despite launching back in 2000, RoboCode is still regularly updated and maintained, helped along by the fact that it's open source and addictive. In addition to explicitly teaching programming concepts like sequencing, loops, and conditions, lessons incorporate storytelling, arithmetic, science, and art. Coming up next, Code and Game. Code and Game is a game-like web app where you solve puzzles and challenges by writing real code. There are more than 25 different programming languages that are supported, including Java, c -sharp, Python, JavaScript, Lua, Go, Rust, and more. Each puzzle or challenge in this web application has a unique and exciting theme. For example, you may have to program the turret to shoot down airships that come too close, save your ship, or race your car to win some galactic championship. These themes surely kick up the fun factor and make coding more fun. It can improve programming abilities and problem solving skills. Many treat it like a game only, but you will really see improvement in your coding skills. It's treated like a subject of school and students have to derive the logic and generate the output. Coming in next, CodeMonkey. CodeMonkey is a fun and educational game-based environment where even kids can learn to code without any prior experience. After completing CodeMonkey's award-winning coding courses, you will be able to navigate through the programming world with a sense of confidence and accomplishment. This environment also offers educational resources for students of different grades and experience levels. From CodeMonkey Jr. to Banana Tales, students not only learn coding basics, but also how to code in real programming languages. Through CodeMonkey, you can develop the necessary skills for the future while having fun. Up next, Code Combat. Code Combat is another web app for game-like puzzles and challenges that can only be solved by writing code. Code Combat has a significant educational angle with a classroom edition that teachers can use to help their students learn how to code. The web app offers three different course paths for you to pursue, including computer science, web development, and game development. Here you can learn Python, JavaScript, CoffeeScript, or the Lua game scripting language. This web app is mainly aimed at teachers and students, but anyone can play. If you're unfamiliar with Python, JavaScript, or HTML, just play the game in advance. You'll learn too. Up next, Screeps. Screeps is an MMO sandbox strategy game for programmers. This is a serious programming game that assumes you already know some basic programming. You can control your units using real-life programming languages like JavaScript. You can even compile languages like C++ and run them through WebAssembly. Using actual programming instead of pseudo-language actually allows the players to focus on better coding habits and makes practice fun. Screeps came out back in 2017 and is still actively maintained. It's currently sitting at an 89% positive rating on Steam with more than 1,000 reviews, which makes it one of the more acclaimed games on the entire Steam platform. Up next, TIS 100. It's a programming puzzle video game developed by Zaktronics Industries. It's the assembly language programming game you never asked for. It says so right there on its title. TIS 100 is a video game like no other, forcing you to learn and use mock version of low-level assembly code to solve its puzzles. 
The game has the player develop assembly language code to perform certain tasks on a fictional virtualized 1970s computer that has been corrupted. This game is not a joke. It's difficult, open-ended, and it has incredible replay value as long as you don't become so frustrated and confused that you uninstall in a fit of rage. Coming in next, Human Resource Machine, a visual programming-based puzzle video game developed by Tomorrow Corporation. Human Resource Machine uses the concept of a corporate office worker assigned to perform tasks that involve moving objects between an inbox and outbox, and to and from storage areas as a metaphor for assembly language concepts. The player works through some 40 puzzles in constructing a program to complete a specific task. In a sense, this game is all about puzzle solving through visual programming, even going as far as to touch on concepts like logical flow and memory management, but presented in an easy to digest, office-themed way. It's a great game for exercising your programmer's brain and may even make a good coding game for kids, too. Coming in next, Duskers. Duskers is a game that resembles shell scripting. You play as a programmer who is stranded in space and running low on supplies. You have to dock with abandoned space vessels and then scavenge them but you can't interact with these ships directly. Instead, you control a team of drones, each with their own abilities, and tell them how to explore these ships. There are also monsters on the ships that will destroy your drones if you're not careful. This game is controlled entirely by typing into a command line interface. Because the game is real time in nature, this can lead to some intense moments of rapidly typing commands as you try to save your drones from danger. There are any survivors out there? Up next, Flexbox Defense. This is a tower defense game that involves you protecting yourself using Flexbox-based commands. By using real-life CSS Flexbox code, you'll adjust the position of your turrets to shoot invading enemies before they can overrun you. Players must write code to move tower defenses to attack the enemies passing via the brown route. The tower defenses need to be close to the route so that gunshots are effective. The game consists of 12 levels where the complexity of the code increases with each level. The player can click on a small badge anytime to view some technical knowledge helpful for the current level. Last on our list, but not least, Elevator Saga. It's a game with minimalistic graphics, stats, and a code editor. In Elevator Saga, you program a series of elevators to handle increasingly large loads of passengers. Through its 19 challenges, you are challenged to improve the algorithm to transport the requisite number of people in the given time, and when you succeed, you can move on to the next challenge. Later on, you get to work with multiple elevators as well, and then it gets really interesting. There are no prizes, but the intrinsic reward is in showing that you can invent an algorithm that works. This game will give you a lot of JavaScript practice. It will also force you to get creative and experiment with optimization approaches as well. And with this, we wrap up our list of games that will teach you to code. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to see more content like this one. See you next time. Don't make much sense. Smash some game, Don't make much sense.